Redemption is often a choice that needs to be made. And basically these heroes like and villains, but mostly like the people who have, it's not so black and white, the people who have done stuff, ultimately it's up to them to make that choice of like doing better, you know, and, 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 and accepting what they've done and moving forward. And, and, and so this fight and episode is basically about the survival of being on the line for like, like, for every hero and villain in this like season seven um war basically it's survival for each team or not team but you know each side i guess yes and then a lot of, of the characters are fighting for a chance at redemption or a second chance uh, uh, a chance at redemption or a second uh chance at just basically life but does everyone deserve re- redemption and that's basically where that line comes in right of, it, of what it's saying now and during these war the war arc which is the second war arc really um so yes hey everyone this is geek as chat i'm shirley i'm christy what's good people <laughs> and we are back to review my hero academia season seven episode 17 hopes um which is what i keep on saying episode 17 but that's how the season Oops. seven is but technically throughout it's like episode 155 <laughs> but i keep it with episode 17 leave me alone i just do what i gotta do but um it's easier for me but yes let's actually get into something we experienced because this connects to my hero the symphonic anime um basically they're like a it's like an orchestra and the conductor uh, performs all these anime like soundtrack songs like you know music and stuff like that and so the conductor is Tana Paul Seti Marmana yeah I'm probably saying his name wrong he's from Thailand right I believe so but I could be totally wrong I'm so sorry <laughs> but yeah so he's the conductor and he leads these orchestras and so they have this um these three performances North America like North America, basically. It was Montreal, and I totally forgot the other fucking place. I'm so sorry. It was in Canada. It was another place in Canada. And then it was Boston. And so I was like, oh, I need to get tickets. And, you know, I live in New York, so I was like, let me get my ass to Boston. And so we did. We actually went for the weekend to go see this performance and, and celebrate my mom's birthday, too. So it actually worked out. And it was so amazing. Like, when we got in, uh, we actually saw the composer we were <laughs> like really wanted to see because the composers of the anime musics that they were playing that night were actually there too so the composers were um yuki hayasi who does um my hero academia who's the people the person we were like really wanting to see yeah, i mean i was excited to see him yeah we were so excited i was like sure you take him. a picture with him quick, quick quick oh that was the thing we when we got in because we got in early this is a, a first time thing getting to places early guess what he was at our level down below because we had seats in like in the front orchestra. down below the orchestra thank you taking pictures and he was like i think with his son and stuff and we actually saw him and we passed him to get to our seats and it was crazy because because he's like oh shit look who it is it's yuki the composer of uh, and so i was just like oh shit and i saw him up close and because he wanted me to take a picture with him but here's the thing i didn't want to because he was there with his family he was taking pictures you know, i'm the type that's like i could see them i was close to him it's cool it's dope i'm not the type to be asking people especially like hey can i take a picture with you i don't know sometimes i get weird about it because i just feel like it's very rude to do that that's just my personal opinion that's my personal we don't share the same i know because it's like we don't share it uh so the other composer who were in attendance was was yashuharo takanashi who does the music for naruto and fairy tale and then, uh, which was dope, he looks cool, love his long hair, he looks good. And the other composer who was in attendance was Makoto Miyazaki, who does the music for One Punch Man, and of course a big popular anime as well, of Spy X Family. Uh, you love that section of the jazz music they play. That's oh, where they play the Spy X Family music. Oh my gosh, I was music. so feeling that, because you know, growing up, I, I was a fan, a big fan of jazz music. Um, and so when the Spy Family song came on, the music came on, I was like, yes, I was like bopping my head, I was like, yeah. 
Yeah, it was dope because like when they played the pieces of the composers that were in attendance, they would get up and wave and stuff. Like so when you say run, which is the big popular music that Yuki does for my hero and it's big and popular in general, you know, they played it. It was amazing. And then Yuki would get up and wave and stuff. So that's what the composers were doing. That was really dope because you got to see them as well. Um, so, oh, talk about the jazz part. The one part that I really love was that JoJo Bizarre Venture music, the um. Italian, like, sounding. I'm sorry. I don't know if it was Italian sounding music, like, in the jazz session. I really love that one. That was dope. And the, um, the Cowboy Bebop one was really good. Never seen it. Oh, yeah. I still have to check it out. Bebop. But, anyways, we just wanted thing. to talk about what the fun thing we did in Boston for the anime, like, concert and stuff. And getting to see Yuki was awesome. So, awesome. let's get into it. Talking about his music and stuff in the show. So, yes, My Hero Academia, Season 7, Episode 17, Hopes. So, it starts off with Rock, like, Lady Nagant, like, trying to get to the roof because she's trying to get to help out Daku. She's like, I need to get there or something. Or she's trying to get out of the hospital. And then there's this doctor called, who looks like Mario. Mario from like... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are the games of Smash Bros? Is it the Smash Brothers? No. Mario and Luigi. Right? Yeah, I don't yeah. know the name of the games. But uh, he looks like Mario. Yeah. And so, basically, Rock... Lo- she's trying to get out. It actually parallels when All Might was trying to get away from um, his friend. And I'm totally forgetting his name. Oh my god! In season four, it was kind of the same like scene. It was actually interesting. Uh, Lady Nagat. I mean, I thought that she looked so cool How, coming out. She's all bruised up. Yeah, she's got bandages. Bandages and shit. all over, and that that's our face of her. Cause she's like she's she's been inspired by Deku with his words of hope when she was like fighting yeah. him and stuff like that. She said that he had she has a heart of a hero. Yeah. I mean, I that's that amazing. Was beautiful. And so Rock Lock basically helps her. He finds her. He helps her, I think, get to the roof. And so she's shooting at basically Shigaraki. Because Shigaraki, from the last episode, is trying to, like, touch the floor to, like, decay it. Yeah. And so... So she shoots his arm up or yeah, hand she, off, she, I should she, say. she keeps on shooting his hands off and stuff yeah. like that. I was like, funny. that is sick sick i was like no no she does not hesitate she shoots the hands off then D- deku uses his black whip to see Sh- shigaraki and hurls him from the coffin yeah which you know because he's like look if he hits the floor everybody's gonna die and that means bakugo's gonna die and they're trying to save him because he's already dead but they're trying to save him so he's like let me get him out of this coffin and they go fight, like, down below and stuff. And that was a cool shot, just showing, like, sugar I mean, and stuff. Like, I mean, these shots that they were eyes. showing kind of was, like, reminiscent of mangas and how they shoot them and the static poses and dramatic framing that they use in mangas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, you're right. It does look like that. And that's pretty cool because it is a manga, so it just takes from what, what it's adapting and stuff. Um, at that same time, Kurigiri's, like, He's like, oh my god, I gotta help Shigaraki. Protect Shigaraki. But then he's like, friends, friends. I gotta help friends. Because at that time, basically Twice is taking over, like, Aizawa and Mike, you know. And and they're falling to the ground and all that shit. So Kurigiri, of course, comes out of nowhere and helps them out and transports them. And so they're, Manalei and all the other kids are like, where the fuck is Kurigiri taking Aizawa and Mike? But we'll find out later. And Dude. Like At the meantime... They're taking him home. They're taking him, they're home. Taking him home. They're like, all right, we out. Let's talk out. We too over this. We in our 30s. Let's get out. <laughs> Go. At the meantime, this is all happening. Gentle's holding up the coffin. And the business is... Are like there's a hole in the in like in the coffin and stuff down below where they're like picking up the coffin, you know, like all the mechanics and stuff. They're like there's a hole and they're taking pictures of him. Oh, I like, have to say holding something up the coffin about that. And stuff. That was mad fucking funny. Jets was like, "Go back inside, kids. What the hell's wrong with you?" And the business kids are like, "This is our job. This is what we do. We gotta show the world." Oh, what you're doing to save her. That is cute. I mean, Gentle and Lavava's um, love is like the only heartwarming story in there as far as love goes. Love relationships and stuff and romance. Because I don't think there is another one in My Hero. So, I mean, it's it's amazing seeing them together. They're fun. They're fun. And I love how Lavava's like hacking 
the business kids um what is it phone so say it showed um she can show the world um gentle support yeah that is yeah they're cute they're really cute yeah they're the the, their love story is probably the most canon. There's like implied love stories in My Hero. But, no, 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 no. But there's implied a, nothing. But this is like the most canon one. This is a love story. All right, all right, calm down. I'm just saying. Like, damn. I'm just saying, yo, you really yeah. about to bite off my head. But anyway, so then we go back to Gunga Villa. And this is where Often was still talking his shit. My God, he really loves to talk. Shit. I don't know. <laughs> it's because he's from way back then, you know? Like, like way back then. And when all they used to do was talk because there was no TV. <laughs> there was no TV. We got to talk. Yo. This is all no we got. TV, no this radio. Is all wait, wait. We got to do <laughs> stare like at each other talk. Okay? You know what I'm saying? That's true. God, that must have been boring. He doesn't no, understand just trying... the beauty in silence. Uh, the beauty of just enjoying God, my something brain visually been or. Fried. Cause I would have been oh. staring, just like I have, I have to look at other things and talk, or do other things. I don't know. My brain is just like that. But anyway, so all for one is basically like Hawks is attacking him. Like Hawks is just like, bitch, I'm gonna get your ass. Get him. You know, he because all for one's trying to get to Tomorrow. but all for one's like, look, man, the ball's in my court. He doesn't really say that, <laughs> but he literally does a move like a power move to like dis disintegrate this is kind of something he does to his brother later on that we see in the manga and probably in the episodes later later so just my, keep mind of that and he disintegrates like hawks and so basically fucking uh, uh tokoyami sees this and he's like oh my like he's in shock like holy shit i just saw my mentor get killed like, I really thought when this manga section came out, I thought he really died. I was like, oh, shit, they really killed Hawks. I know, that's crazy. But. It happened so fast, though. It happened so fast. This is, like, really fast. But then it's like he comes out. He turns around Hawks, and he becomes beautified. Like, and it's just like, oh, hello, he's so beautiful and shit. And literally the meme of all memes. Basically, Tokuyami's like, oh, and you see, like, his big-ass mouth. That's going to be our thumbnail. <laughs> like, uh, beautified Hawks and Tokuyami, like, oh, with his big-ass <laughs> mouth, like a cartoon character. That was so fucking funny when it came out in the manga. That drawing was great. Uh, and because, like, Tokuyami's like, what the fuck is going on? But, of course, the what the fuck is going on it always happens with Kami. Of you, you got to remember Kami. Like, those... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's from another school, right? Yes. Uh, sh- I like sh- how they... What's the high school? What's the name of the high school? Let me look oh, yeah. that up. Yeah, the name of the high school is Shakesu High School. And you know those kids. They were from season four, you know, um, when Bakugo and Shoto were trying to get their license and stuff. And Kami was one of the... I mean, I think... Actually, they were in... earlier, yeah, when they were getting their... Earlier, their other license. Yeah, I think that was... Se- yeah, no, that was I think this is a earlier, really yeah. powerful episode because you see all of the other kids, kids. Like the meatball you, kid. Yeah. And the, yeah, <laughs> the yeah, meatball and, and kid. And they just united to fight to together. And, oh. Yeah, I forgot the other dude that... The power of wind. I forgot that kid's name. Oh, my God, I'm forgetting. He has, he has like, the ball head. Yeah, yeah. And him and Shoto didn't like each other, but they ended up being friends because Endeavor was a dick to him when he was a kid. Yeah. Damn, I forgot his name. I should have wrote it down. But Kami's the best. Kami, awesome, amazing. She came out. She she did the win. She saved Hawks. I just love her. I don't yeah. know what it is about Kami, but she's just so fucking great. <laughs> and they came out to help out in this fight, which is dope and also yeah. sad because still kids are yeah. fighting. But I want to say that I don't know what is all for one doing with his back. But he's putting out, like, some spikes and stuff. He has these spikes that are, like, sending out. This is how... This is where he throws out that big attack for everyone. No, it's like this, like, electric field type of, like... It's, like, um... To everyone, that everyone gets hit with, like, electric... Electricity and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I I mean, I like what kind of happens next. Dark Shadow's powerful move, or should I say... Tokoyami's powerful move with Dark Shadow... I oh mean, yeah, because he he basically with all for one throws out that move that big powerful move, 
he like all for one guess was like whoa what just happened like spider sense type of thing and of course dark shadow is behind him with that the big powerful move and stuff like that but let's not forget about the 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 scene where he's remembering dark shadow when he was a kid and they're both babies and stuff and they're just like hugging each other holding hands in the dark because they're scared yeah he's like don't be scared it's mad cute I'm mad like, cute so fucking cute and i like how dark shadow too. was also a kid because i can you imagine yeah. dark shadow being <laughs> a big Dark Shadow and, <laughs> and you were like a, Yami, a little kid. Yeah, but this having them both be little kids. Is yeah, because so they adorable. grew up together. They're like siblings, really. Oh. When you think about, it. and that's what's Too scary cute. about all for one stealing powers. Because you're like, you don't want him to steal Dark Shadow and stuff. But um, he throws out the big power. What's the the, the power called? The Dark Shadow, Black Abyss, Light of what the hell? Light of Bolt. I don't know. I don't Light know of Boulder. Boulder? Is yeah. it Boulder? Okay. Light of Boulder. And it's a dope ass move. You should you said it's big dark shadow, like just pummel like all for one, which was fucking awesome. And stuff like that. Yeah. But then and that's how it ends. And the, I like the shot that it looks like a manga drawing. Again, you were talking about that. Yeah. And then so then after the credits, it goes into like this ending scene of like Togo. And she's, like, struggling because she's turning into, like, Shigaraki and Dobby and stuff like that. But she can't use their powers. And so she's struggling, like, with the, like, the meaning of what love to her means. Because her, her mimicking other people and copying their quirks is how she claims that she loves the person. And that's what helps, that the love. And then she can mimic them and then mimic their quirks. But it's, like, weird how she can't really copy Shigaraki's and Dobby's. And I think it's just different types of love, you know? Mm. I think that's where the confusion comes in. Yes, cause like, she, she loves, love like, Shigaraki and Dobby as brothers and stuff and, like, stuff, but she, like, loves Ochako differently, like, you know, romantically and stuff. I, I see it that way, you oh, know, because okay. there's different... I, I see it because there are different types of love, you know? Yeah. They come in... It comes in different forms, so that's what I think Yeah, is going on. Um, I think, and that was pretty much the it of the end of the episode. Really. Yay! <laughs> Who's ready for the next one? Boop, boop. I think that's the last, th- that one, and then we go on vacation, and then we come back to do the, the last three. Oh, no. Because there's only four left. <gasps> no. And I think that's how we have to do it, because we are actually going on vacation. So, so in anyway. this winter, we're going to be depressed? Pretty that's much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, no. But anyways, thanks for listening, watching, subscribe, like to Kiki's chat, leave a comment, and we will be back with more My Hero Academia Season 7 episodes. Thank you. Peace out. Peace Adios. Out.